Hey folks, good Sunday evening to you. Thanks for checking in with us here at MyFoxHurricane.com. Still giving you the latest on Tropical Storm Zeta. It's somewhat impressive looking in terms of the amount of convection we've had near the center of the storm, but still somewhat ragged in terms of the overall structure. I'll get you a close up just a second of that storm sitting uh, over the Western Caribbean. First off, I want to show you the wide view to kind of give you an idea of the steering flow here about what's ultimately going to be dictating where this goes. There's high pressure if you can kind of envision uh, out over here in the far western Atlantic that will be building in across Florida in the coming days. In addition to a trough in the desert southwest, that will be moving east. So those kind of combining to shove this uh, across the Yucatan and eventually into the middle of the Gulf before kind of turning it north and east uh, up towards the northern Gulf Coast. Uh, here's the latest 50 mile an hour winds and you can see a big burst of convection today south and west of the actual center of the storm. Uh, it's in a very good environment for further strengthening. There's low wind shear and very warm water uh, in the far western Caribbean here in addition to some very warm water up towards the Yucatan Peninsula and just into the southern Gulf. So strengthening likely and it's uh, definitely looking like a good possibility that this becomes Hurricane Zeta. Good news is, is that there's cooler shelf waters across the northern Gulf uh, in addition to as that trough coming in uh, should help increase the wind shear and weaken this up until the point of landfall. But it still should be a pretty significant storm and any storm is not great for this area which has been incredibly hard hit uh, so far this hurricane season. We're talking Louisiana, Mississippi, uh, parts of coastal Alabama, and even parts of the far western Florida Panhandle. Models in really good agreement on that track for now. If you're in central and south Florida, uh, I don't see any issues with this, but certainly folks along the northern Gulf Coast keep checking back for updates in the coming days.